<laughs> so Coca-Cola has a coffee soda now, and we're gonna just try it out. It actually smells like coffee. JD, like, how does it smell? Hey. I don't know what to expect right now. Oh my. Yeah. That's surprisingly like really good actually. Wow. I'm so you wanna sip? Yeah. Alright. Coffee coke. Good morning guys. It is Sunday. Yes, today is actually Sunday. I said Saturday and I'm Sunday. Smooth. Yeah, it's like it's like I don't know, I expected it to not be good, but it was I mean it's not the greatest. I'm still gonna go with like the original Coke or a vanilla Coke, but I would definitely drink this again if someone bought it for me. I don't know if I'd buy it again. Nah. Honestly, I definitely would actually buy it again. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thumbs up. How? Come try this. I'm trying Coke for the second time in my life. Nah, there's coffee in it. So Coke. Chase has told me to try this plus coffee, Coca-Cola, real coffee from Brazil. It's from Brazil. It's from the Fast and Furious. Oh my god, I don't know what the taste is like. Oh, you know what it tastes like. Um, uh, it's an Asian uh, lolly and it's like coffee and it's... it's oh, the little coffee drop yeah, thing. Yeah. I've, I've tried it. Uh, that's what it tastes like. Yeah. That's exactly what it tastes Especially like. Especially, I'm going to give you something and it, it tastes just like this. I've actually already tried that. Do you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. That's know, what it tastes like. I know exactly what you're talking about. That's what it tastes like. That little coffee drop. Yeah. So on today's agenda, we are going to be giving these a deep, deep clean. And there is some spot gluing as well. Uh, not that many spots have to be glued. It's nothing too crazy. Just kind of like little area right there that you can't even see. Another area there that you most likely can see. Yeah, you definitely can see that. And where was the third where was the third one? Here. <laughs> oh there it is. Right there. Another spot right there. Nothing too crazy, but we're gonna film it anyway. Get going. Hey. <laughs> on two separate tracks, each one giving special emphasis to certain sections of the orchestra, as heard from those positions. Now, when played back simultaneously on two separate systems, the sounds are blended together to achieve a new dimension in sound, impossible to obtain in a monolo recording. All right, let's go finish these concords. JD, Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens, who's winning? Kevin Owens. The shoe's probably been restored how many times in this lifetime? I swear, man. It's full DS, bro. <laughs> DS Ward, 50, 100, 60,000 times. What's wrong? Nothing. You sure? <laughs> how do you careful with that file? Yeah. In the grooves of their shoes, bro, because if that file is off there, you know. You, you definitely just have everywhere. 
So I know that it's called the sneaker laundry and pretty much every single pair of shoes that you've seen me clean on this channel since I got a job here has been a pair of sneakers. Don't let the name fool you because we also clean other shoes like these Louis Vuitton loafers and no one else here wanted to clean them because they're afraid to touch them. Am I right? <laughs> I'd be afraid to touch them too if I didn't know what I was doing, but luckily I know what I'm doing. So what we're gonna do now is clean these, and I'm going to use my method of deep cleaning expensive shoes. You can click on the card right here if you haven't seen that video yet. And yeah, let's deep clean these Louis loafers. So that's gonna wrap it up for today. Pretty successful in my opinion. What do you think, JD? Yes. Not a bad day, right? Yes. And uh, Joe, what do you think? Fantastic. We have bleeped. <laughs> Thank you guys so much once again for tuning into my channel and I'll catch you next time. Peace.